hey guys i'm back today with another video but before i get started on all of the details please make sure to hit the subscribe button it is free and also turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos This unit that I will be showing you guys today comes from RPG Show. You guys know I have worked with them plenty of times before on this channel. And this is a part of the Marie Fake Hairline and Scalp Lace Wig. And this is the style Marie 001. If you guys don't know Miss Precious Marie, you should definitely check out her channel. I'll make sure to leave a link down below. But this is what the inside of the cap is looking like. Now the fake scalp color that I have is the medium brown. This is tinted transparent Swiss lace and it also has the deep bleach knots which I will show you guys. You get two combs on the side, a comb in the back and your adjustable strap. And you also get an adjustable elastic band. This unit, I want to show you guys the front of the hairline. So the front of the hairline has two inches of yakky texture hair. Now I'm not gonna lie, when I pulled this out the box, I was kind of side eyeing it because I was like, I don't know how this is going to look because the back of this hair is wavy and then the front of this hair just has this yakky texture. So I'm going to wash it and everything which you guys will see because I want to see how well it's going to blend. And also I wanna wash this to see how well the fake scalp is going to hold up. Right here, I'm just showing you guys the deep bleach knots. Now, you can just get the lightly bleached knots, which you will still probably have to go in and try to cover and conceal that up. But they do have a deep bleach option now on the website. And this is the hairline. As you guys know, it does come pre-plugged. Now this right here is me just showing you guys what this unit looks like on the mannequin head before I decide to go in and wash it and just style it to my liking. Now right here you cannot see any of the fake scalp as far as like a line of demarcation because I'm not going to lie I was a little bit worried about that. With certain fake scalp wigs you can see a line of demarcation and that was my biggest concern because... Of course, you don't want it to look unnatural. You want it to look as natural as possible. So, so far, so good on the mannequin head. Putting the unit on my head, I'm just gonna make sure to get all that extra hair out of the way and then show you guys what this is looking like as far as the hairline goes. Now, you can go in and customize it a little bit more I probably would go in and customize a little bit more on the side, but for the most part, it looks natural to me. Um, plucking your hairline is a personal preference on how thin you want it. I don't really care for mine to look super thin. I just don't. I'm just gonna work on cutting off the lace on this unit and I'm just clipping the hair back. Now the cap size that I have with this unit is a cap size one. Their units fit me very, very well. I always say this in all of the videos that I do for them. So I don't have to worry about trying to make it fit because it just fits me really well. So if I want to go glueless, I definitely can. I don't have to worry about adding any extra adhesive. Now, cutting off the lace, you can already see how well it's already starting to blend into my hairline. So with RPG Show units, their tinted lace is really good because it's thin and it just blends in very well. Of course, with any of the Swiss lace that I review on my channel, I always tell you guys to be careful with it, not to be too rough because it can rip. Going in with my Glam Force Got To Be Free Spray, I'm just taking that and spraying that on top of the lace and just rubbing it in. And then on the sides, I'm just putting it underneath the lace. I am not going to put a lot of free spray because I do have some errands to run, but I'm not gonna be in this wig for a very long time. And you guys know I prefer to take my units off at night. And so the less free spray I put on, the easier it is for me to just pop this baby off. So I'm just taking my blow dryer and just going around the whole front. And I have this on a warm setting and it's only gonna take me like maybe 10 minutes for this to all dry down. It dries down very quick and it's just not messy. I already had a vision of doing a curved part with this unit. 
So I'm just making sure to take my red tail comb and try to curve that out. It's not going to be perfect, but I'm going to get it as close as possible. And then in the very front of the unit, I was trying to decide how natural I wanted the hairline to be if I wanted to leave it alone or if I wanted to add a little bit of baby hair. So I'm just going to pull a very small amount, a very small amount, because I know I'm gonna have some people get on me, in the very front of the hairline and just cut it down very short and just kind of swoop it over just to kind of, you know, give it a little bit something extra. I'm going to take the wax stick and also spray a little bit of the Glam Force spraying on that edge brush and then I'm just going to work on swooping that over. And I did it like this just because I did not want to wet the hairline because of the yakky texture. I did not want to have to worry about if the hair was going to lay down. So taking the wax stick and the Glam Force spray is going to give me a hold but it's going to be a soft hole. It's not going to look all harsh and cakey. And then I'm just going to do it in this one area the same way I did it on the other side. Taking the wax, I'm just going to go around the hairline and also by the parting space and on the side. And I'm just going to press everything out using my hot comb to get this nice and flat and also look very sleek and get those short hairs laying down. And so far it is doing good. And you can see the two textures like blending in together. It's not looking like I thought it was going to look. I was a little bit skeptical about it, but it looks like it's coming all together. Tied the front of the hairline down using my wig grip and I'm just going to work on curling the hair. So I already knew that I wanted a glam look with this unit. Now I've been doing a lot of long straight hair looks so I wanted something that was a little bit shorter and more for every day. Like usually when I wear my units it's usually about 16 inches maybe 14 to 16 inches. Something that I can just easily throw on and just go so that is why I chose the shorter length when it came to this unit now if you watch miss precious marie video she does have a longer lens so you guys go and check that out i'll make sure to leave a link down below to her video of course all the products that i am using can be found down below in the description area if there is something that i missed out on that you can't find just let me know down below and i'll try to find it for you so i'm just going to curl one side of the unit and show you guys what it's looking like so far that is what it is looking like curled on one side and then that is what it's looking like in its natural state on the other side now i did use my aussie moist shampoo and conditioner to wash this unit you guys know i love the shampoo and conditioner just because it moisturizes very well and the two textures are definitely blending in together i'm having no issues with that at all are not perfect they're a little bit messy but that's okay so i'm going to just now go in with my garnier fruity sleek and shine serum and i'm going to run that throughout the hair and make sure to get those ends now this is going to help combat any of that frizziness um, especially because it is a two texture it's more silky in the front and yakky in the back and you guys know with the yakky texture you don't get too much frizziness with it so i wanted to make sure that it looked all blended and good together now i'm just going to go in with some of my powder now i am using a new powder today i'm using the maybelline fit me powder i believe i'm going to show you guys after i'm done adding it in i think it's in 355 and i'm placing that around the hairline y'all see how good that is looking i'm placing that around the hairline and also into the parting space and it is blending so well i do not see any type of line of demarcation on this unit with the fake scalp So guys this is what the unit is looking like now that i am done curling it and adding my powder in it looks bomb 
Like you can't tell me that does not look bomb. You cannot see the two textures, it blended in perfectly. So my worries about that went away. My only issue I would say about the two textures is if you decide to freshly wash the unit and you just kind of want to wear it out, you're just not going to be able to. You are going to have to add some type of heat to this unit as far as curling it or making sure you straighten it for it to look natural and blend in together. With this unit, once again, I do have this in 16 inches. You can get this in 20 inches if you are interested in a longer length. And then I do have the full lace version. I'm looking on the website. I don't see a lace front version. Hopefully they will bring this to the lace front versions and not just make this a full lace version. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. And then also you can get this unit in the natural hair color, the number one, the number three, and also the number four. So this fake scalp, I mean, I don't have anything negative to say. This fake scalp in particular fit me very well. There was no line of demarcation. That was my biggest concern is, is there gonna be a line of demarcation? And it wasn't, there's four different color options you can choose from. However, I do think that they could probably add about one or two more shades in the fake scalp line, a little bit darker. My line looks good. Y'all know how RPG show hairlines is. Their, their lace is very nice. So I don't have anything to say negative about that. Um, I did get some shedding with this unit. As far as tangling goes, I didn't get any real tangles with this unit. As far as the two textures go, once again, as you guys can see, it does blend in very well, even when it is straightened out. Um, my only thing is that if I wanted to wear this in a natural state, as far as the waves in the back, I would have to flat iron the unit or add some curls to it because the yakky texture is straight and then the back of the hair would be wavy. So that might be a con to some but yeah that looks very well oh as far as the density goes this full lace wig is only a hundred percent i do wish rpg show would give some extra density to their silky units as far as their full lace wigs go because it can come off a little bit thin but for some it might come off very natural and just easy to deal with every day let me know how you are feeling this unit it looks very natural um of course if you do not like this particular one she does have some other units in this collection that you guys can choose from i know it's a little bit on the pricier side so i will make sure to try to find and leave a coupon code down below for you guys congrats to miss precious marie once again on her collab with rpg show y'all make sure to share and like this video leave some love down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again and i'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.